This is the second video in the series of visual recognition with IBM Watson and Python. In the first video I showed you how to set up an IBM Watson account and also how to set up Python so that you can run visual recognition and so that you can follow along with the tutorial. Now I'm not going to go over through the whole process again so if you want to follow along make sure to check out the first video and in that video I went through image classification so for example say you have an image with um, winter scenery and you have trees and snow and different objects if you run IBM Watson through the image it will display confidence intervals with the objects or things that it sees like for example there's a 99% chance that the image contains snow um, anyway you can check the first video to see how it goes in this video I'm gonna go through text recognition with Watson and Python so without further ado let's jump right into it after all it's only three or four lines of code so it's quite simple so I have an idle shell over here Python shell so from Watson developer cloud we're gonna import visual recognition version 3 as VR and then we're going to create an instance of the visual recognition so VR we're going to authenticate API key equals I already have it on the clipboard and we're going to use the version from May 2016 20th of May 2016 should be good now we're gonna pass on an image so we're gonna use instance to recognize text in the images file so I'm gonna use a file from the web in this case this is a written tutorial for for this purpose so I'm gonna link to it in the description so let's pick any image from here and see what Watson sees view the image let's grab a link copy image address and see the job that Watson does on it trace back so images file dot name images URL so it's images URL images URL my bad so it should be good we're just gonna see what this variable holds so once again the the results are displayed in a JSON file and as it as one can see it wasn't able to detect the text because it got an un undefined server error let's try and use another image say this one view image copy image address now image instance recognize text images URL equals or URL enter let's see if it did a better job this time 
so image yep so we got some results here let's try and see if we can access the results in a better way by going down the JSON tree so I already have the whole command or I think I have it over here so images this is how we go down the JSON tree so it's image image images zero and text so South Carolina dash n which is a new line ABC one two three new line travel ABC so South Carolina ABC one two three travel so it didn't get the sc.com anyway in just a few lines I think it did a good job so in the past you'd have to use um, to do this kind of thing in the past you would have to use optical character recognition libraries and write a whole bunch of code just to get an even poorer result than this one so um, this is quite decent and what else can you use this for aside of license plate recognition here you could use it to recognize text in PDF files which are in images files you can do a whole transcription of the text from from a PDF file and you can do all sorts of stuff with it I may do another video tutorial using a different way to to do text recognition with uh, say modules like open computer vision or simple computer vision that is open cv or simple cv in a future post but the next one in this series with ibm watson and python is on facial recognition so if you have questions with respect to this, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.